All right, guys, so a couple months ago, I answered a very, very popular and frequently asked question amongst cruise ships, and that's if the crew members actually do supposedly hook up a lot. And of course, I told you guys straight up, I had to be real with you, the answer was, of course, yes. 100%. The crew members are definitely doing the nasty, getting it in, doing the thing on cruise ships. Now, in today's episode, I want to tell you guys why they're doing it. Why do the crew members feel the urge to just get it in on ships? So that's what we're going to talk about in today's episode. Along with that, make sure you guys stick around as well because we're going to be talking about the infamous cuffing season because it is that time and make sure you stick around for the end of the video because if you guys are in a relationship i'm going to talk with you and help you give you some tips as to how you can survive a cruise ship contract without cheating or breaking up so without further ado let's go ahead and get started in today's episode of ship life let's go all right, guys, so first off, I hope everybody had a fun, wild, and memorable Halloween night last night. I'm sure a lot of you guys probably made some bad decisions, but hey, I'm not really here to judge. I just figured since you guys are waking up with hangovers and pondering the horrible mistakes that you made last night, I could talk with you guys about something relevant, something that I think would be fun and cool for everybody. And hopefully this will, you know, be informal for you guys as well, because I'm sure a lot of people that desire to work on cruise ships, that I have worked on cruise ships, have been curious about this topic right here. So, as you guys know, today is November 1st. It is also, in my opinion, the real official start to cuffing season. Technically, it starts in October, but that's also Halloween season where people are getting wild and making mistakes. So, for those of you guys that don't know what cuffing season is, it's a time of the year where people kind of start to feel lonely and everybody starts linking up for that holiday season. So, they got somebody to take to those boring Christmas parties and whatnot, all right? Now, when it comes to that, believe it or not, there's actually a science to cuffing season. I'm not going to get into all the details, but it particularly is around just men and women, right? We have something called, uh, women have estrogen and men have testosterone, right? Around this time of year, the men start to lose some of that testosterone, it goes down, and the women increase in estrogen, right? I know it's weird, I'm not gonna be some nerdy science guy, but it just causes uh, women to desire to be with somebody, and the same with the man. He doesn't wanna be lonely for this time of year and blah, blah, blah. But anyway, guys, so getting off into today's episode, it's always cuffing season on the ship, right? Somebody's always trying to find their, uh, their, their ship bay. Guys, I know I say it all the time in a lot of videos, but I'm telling you, I'm gonna get t-shirts made at some point. Ship Bay, remember that. I said it first, Ship Bay, all right? People are always trying to look for their Ship Bay, and if they're not trying to look for their Ship Bay, they're trying to look for a little bit of fun and action on the ship. Now, in today's episode, I'm gonna talk about why that is, and as promised as well, I'm gonna talk about why, or the best way to avoid uh, cheating and having a breakup if you're with somebody on land. So I'm not gonna waste any more of your time, let's get into it. Guys, when it comes to this situation, I like to break things down into four reasons why this thing happens on the ship. Why do people feel the urge to get it in? I always say in my videos jokingly that it's just the ocean air that puts you in the mood, but I think it goes a little bit deeper than that. So let's go ahead and start off with point number one. All right, guys, so to pop things off, the first reason why crew members sleep around so much is because of the idea of freedom. Now, what I mean by that is, I'm sure you guys have heard of the cliche term, free spirit, right? It's exactly that on the ship. When you're on the ship, whether you're even a crew member or a guest, you get that idea of like a perfect society, a perfect world where there is nothing really affecting you, right? You're stress-free, you're having a good time, you're not really thinking about a lot of things. But in the, in the crew member's case, you have just a little bit more time to think about things that you wouldn't normally think about at home, like the fun you wanna have, right? You go to the crew bar, you're going to all these crazy places and experiencing all these beautiful things. You have that idea of freedom where you can technically do, so, do no wrong. You can make bad decisions and it's okay. That's how a lot of the crew members feel when they make these decisions, right? Um, they have the freedom to do things that they wouldn't do at home. Their desires, their ambitions, their passions, right? Um, you know, a lot of people have just lustful thoughts that they, they want to pursue, right? On the ship, um, I've explained this a lot of times, you have a lot of crew members that are just, they've never been in such a diverse environment. You have some people that may want to sleep with a Filipino girl, right? You have some people that may want to be with a Croatian. You have some, some people that may want to be with a black guy, you know, um, it's, it's a real thing on the ship, right? So you have that idea of freedom. You're like, okay, well, 
I don't have this back home and there's not a lot of rules here as far as who you can and can't be with and everybody for the most part primarily is doing the same thing so why not have a little bit of fun in the process and that's honestly how a lot of people on the ship perceive it right they're free spirits and they just want a little bit of freedom and so they have no problem pursuing that so the second reason is going to kind of both counter and piggyback off of what I said about reason number one as to why crew members sleep around so much but if I explain it to you, I'm sure it'll make a little bit of sense. The second reason why crew members sleep around so much is due to stress. Now, when I say that, again, I know it does kind of, it's kind of countering to what I just said about the first one about you being free, but when you have that, that stress at home taken away, it is often replaced with stress on the ship, right? Particularly your workload. For a lot of the crew members, they work a lot. I mean, <laughs> a lot. I'm talking anywhere from 10 to 12 hours a day, almost every single day. And when you're working like that, you're, you're basically turning into like a work mule and it's stressful for you to keep on working at a pace where you're still being productive and you're still doing things at an efficient time. So for other crew members too, they even have a little bit more stress. Let's say somebody that's in the spa, for example, they have a quota that they have to meet, right? They have to bring in a certain amount of revenue personally for the company. And to do that, you know, you have to be aware, you have to be awake, but that's also about working those long hours. For a lot of people, you know, they have that issue where, you know, they, they can't really deal and they need something to kind of drown out that idea that they're just basically work mules. And I'm not saying everybody's a work mule, you know, at the end of the day, you know, it is what it is. Some people are working harder than others, but you know, that, that's, that's the fact. That's just, you know, a real factor of the equation. Um, so for a lot of people, they need some kind of stress relief. Some you would buy, you know, going to the crew bar to grab a drink. Some like to sit outside and read a book. Some like to do the nasty, you know, and you know, it's usually around those, those, uh, you know, those two options, right? People are going to go to the crew bar. They usually kind of coincide with one another. They're usually at the crew bar and next thing you know, they're relieving some more stress by, you know, doing some physical activity, but that's just how it is. I hope that makes sense to you guys. That's what I got for number two. The real reason why people or crew members sleep around so much is due to stress. All right guys, so for reason number three, the reason why the crew members sleep around so much is because they miss home. Now, when I say that guys, of course, I'm also talking about your friends and families and loved ones and all that other good stuff. But of course, there is so much more that goes into it, right? You're used to your lifestyle. You're used to just the way you conduct your business and do things at home, right? So when you get on the ship, all of that essentially is kind of stripped away because there are some general rules of, of what you can and can't do, not as far as relationships really, but it's just an overall different experience to being at home, right? You're on this giant floating tin camp for like six to nine months, so your whole way of life is just kind of flipped around, and it's hard not to miss that. You can adapt and adjust to being in that kind of environment, but that doesn't mean you don't miss home, right? Some people may have their boyfriend, girlfriend, you know, their spouse, or, you know, husband or wife over at home, and you know, they, they miss them so much that they, they want to essentially pretend that they are still around. You know, there was a girl that I knew, uh, and I'm not gonna mention her name, but she was in my show that I was with on the ship, and one thing she really enjoyed doing was being with somebody else on the ship that was around the same look, race, size, and somewhat personality as her boyfriend back home, and she would always find this guy. There was a guy she was with, and they were honestly, cuffed up you know i think she ended up in a rotation of two guys throughout her contract and they, it was awkward because they do look similar her boyfriend even came on the ship once and i'm telling you it was weird how how similar all three of these guys looked but this girl cuffed up with one of these guys in particular for most of her contract right and this is why they like i said it's always cuffing season and on this point that's what i'm really going to elaborate on the cuffing season yeah people hook up because they want that feeling of being with whoever it is that they want back home and they just miss home so much they want some kind of physical attention right but um typically people do what i like to call getting a ship bay right they have that one person on the ship for the most part that they're just kind of with and they do it for a lot of reasons right they want a fake idea of a relationship some actually really find uh, somebody that they, I guess, want to be with, kind of, sort of, in a weird way because, you know, this person's foreign, so naturally they're going to be a little bit more attractive to them. And, you know, there's a lot of factors and details. I'm not going to get too far into that, but it's actually a real thing, right? People start cuffing up. They have their, their shit bait for the contract, and some leave it at that because, again, 
you know, they, they, they think they found somebody, they either found somebody, they, they want somebody as like a, literally a shit boyfriend, girlfriend, husband, wife, whatever you want to call it, or they just want it all together. They want to be able to have their cake and eat it too. They want to have somebody on the, on the ship that they can do things with without the rumor spreading around. As far as people know that, you know, this particular person is like exclusive of one another with somebody else, it just kind of keeps down all the rumors and, you know, all the talk. Because as I said, I believe it was in my first video, the cruise ship is like a giant high school or college, it, whatever, you, whatever you want to believe, all right? It's somewhat similar to that same environment where everybody kind of knows everybody and you know it just it last thing you want is people knowing your business even though they're kind of going to know it anyway you want to make people think that you're exclusive with somebody else so a lot of people miss home and they usually turn to this idea of a fake boyfriend girlfriend husband whatever you want to call it that's what i got for number three guys all right guys so we've made it to the fourth and final reason why crew members sleep around so much now for this final point guys it may be self-explanatory to the crew members that have already worked on cruise ships but for the people that haven't i know it's going to sound a little weird and strange for me to say but it's actually a real thing and that is the crew members are bored i know it sounds weird but it is 100 percent true when you're on a cruise ship, yeah, I get you're going to beautiful places, you're seeing beautiful things, you have a lot of options, you're partying every night, right? And you don't really have a lot of responsibilities, so you can just have fun all day long. But you gotta think, when you factor that into a period of six to nine months, that is a very, very long time, right? At some point, you're gonna repeat the same ports that you're going to. The crew bar doesn't really change. And if you're on a, a ship that has a boring crew bar, you're screwed, right? If people aren't fun and interactive, they don't like going out and doing all this stuff, uh, you're gonna end up with just a boring contract. So what other thing can you really do besides get it in? You know, so on my ship, for example, and this is something that I heard about very, very often. Again, this is what's going to prove the point of that this is like a high school slash college type environment, right? At the crew bar on my ship, my ship was known as the corporate ship. It was a very large ship, one of the biggest in the fleet and one of the largest in the world, right? But surprisingly, our crew bar was very boring, right? Um, on my ship, my cruise line that I could work, that I worked for in particular, we didn't have liquor in our crew bar. We only had wine and beer. So I'm I'm sure you guys can imagine that idea to get drunk quick and faded and turn up is, is not really there, right? So what can, what else can everybody do? They would resort to having what we would call cabin parties, right? For those of you guys that have been on ships, I'm sure you know all about the infamous cabin parties. It's a very, very real thing. And the thing is, in these cabin parties, typically what will happen is the very basic traditional high school and college games which would be Never Have I Ever, Spin the Bottle, Truth or Dare. That stuff 100% happens, and that typically leads to the physical fun that I've been talking about in this entire video. That's usually the, the most common way that it happens and that it goes down. People are so bored that they're willing to resort to the games from their childhood in order to stay away from boredom. So guys, just understand that on the ship, you know, it happens and it's a very, very real thing. So that was my fourth and final point that I have to make on why crew members sleep around so much. Now let's get into the bonus round where I tell you guys, if you're in a relationship, how you can avoid cheating and surviving your relationship through a cruise ship contract. All right guys, so I'm gonna make this point very, very simple and quick. I'm not gonna sugarcoat it and have a whole conversation with you guys about it. So back when I was on tour with the Harlem Globetrotters, we had a very, very small key in order to stay faithful to your significant other back home, right? Because when you're traveling, the temptation to go do anything is there, right? So just straight up, if you guys want to, you know, keep your relationship intact, if you don't want to cheat, right, don't go out. All right, I know that that sounds kind of messed up to say, but I'm just being 100% honest with you guys. If you don't want to cheat and you want your relationship to last and survive, uh, you know, your land-based relationship, do not go out partying, okay? I'm, I'm warning you guys, right? Find something to occupy your time. Learn another language. They usually have that available on the ship. Read, watch a movie, right? Do something else productive. And that is the key to surviving, I'm telling you. Just find something else that can occupy that time. Like me, for example, I started this YouTube channel, 
right? I was doing other things. I learned how to DJ and it helped me get through the contract. I'm not gonna lie, you know, I'm sorry my girlfriend Lauren, but there were temptations. I just kind of did, you know, I didn't allow myself to succumb to it, but I did that by keeping myself in my room and except with the exception of going to ports and having a little bit of fun out there. Went to the crew every now and then, but I wasn't really there. That's just how it worked out, guys, all right? But that is the key, right? You cannot go out partying because you're gonna end up in one of those rooms where you're playing spin the bottle and they're gonna be like, Tommy and Alicia. And just like that, you're doing the thing. I'm telling you, it happens like that. So anyway, guys, I'm gonna wrap this video up. I hope this video was informative. I know it was a little bit long, but I hope you guys found it valuable and informal in some kind of way. Please make sure you guys share this to the rest of the world so they can understand what it's really like being a crew member on cruise ships. Also, make sure you guys smash that like button. Subscribe if you haven't already. I'm almost at 10K, and I, trust me, guys, when I hit 10K, I got a lot of things coming up. I got merchandise coming up, right, that you can buy online. I have more equipment coming up. I'll have sound equipment so that I actually sound a lot better, which I'm really looking forward to because I'm tired of this weird echo that I have going on in here. I have a cool setup I have for you guys, so make sure you guys stay tuned for that and just make sure you guys keep in touch with me if you guys want to hit me up at any point in time just, i got my email below if you have any questions comments concerns until then guys i will see you on sunday for my ship life story until then you guys take it easy